Welcome back. We are here with part six of our, what is it, the eighth <laughs> reign of our royal family. And we are here with everyone. Now, uh, if you remember, we are currently at war. So there's that. And uh, Winston left last time. So the family is having to really try and see how things are without him there. Very sad. Uh, Cordelia, uh, you know, feels like she needs something to do, like something to work on, something to play around with while her husband is gone so that she doesn't worry so much about him and about, you know, whether he's going to be okay or not, especially now that he is a prisoner of war. So I'm thinking I will have her do the grilled cheese aspiration. <laughs> I think that that'll be fun. So let's have her eat a bunch of grilled cheeses and, um, talk to everybody about grilled cheese and cook grilled cheese. Now, if you are not familiar, grilled cheese aspiration is a hidden aspiration in the game. You get the pop-up by eating three grilled cheeses in a row. There we go. And so now we'll continue that. So she needs to um, eat 10 grilled cheeses and talk to three different Sims about grilled cheese. Now, um, Olivia is doing pretty good in her job. She just needs to get uh, up a level in photography in order to be eligible for her promotion. And uh, Miguel and Winter's relationship is doing well. Miguel is currently working on the country caretaker aspiration. Not really sure um, how far we'll actually get in that without being in Hanford on Bagley, but that's okay. So he is taking care of a cow and some chickens and a little garden patch. So that is his hobby. Look how cute they all look with her like sitting across like it on the bed and stuff. Love that. Um, and then we have a winter who is into sports and stuff like that. And then we have little Bellamy whose birthday is actually today. So we'll have a cake for her in a little bit. And there we go. Olivia working on her photography. And we're just continuing with the grilled cheese marathon. <laughs> so much grilled cheese. So little time. Because uh, we actually have to figure out who in this family is going to be going off to war next. Who could it be? I don't know. So it's very exciting for everyone involved. And so we are just trying to figure out who it'll be. I mean, Olivia will get the final say because she's the queen and it's probably not going to be her because she's a huge bee. So <laughs> yes. Um, so that is definitely going to be a consideration. I don't think she would send her daughter either. So there's that. And um, technically Cordelia is not part of this household. She's part of the siren household, but she is Olivia's sister. So she could be eligible. And then, um, obviously, Cordelia would go before Bellamy, and Bellamy is still a child, though she'll be a teen very shortly. And I guess there's Miguel, but he should probably represent his family if that's what's going to happen there. And, okay, there we go, some more grilled cheeses. <laughs> now we need to cook three group grilled cheese meals and also eat, um, is that five? So, I don't know, however many more grilled cheeses and then talk, no, talk to five people about grilled cheeses and eat 10 excellent quality grilled cheeses. Um, so also, unfortunately, our cow has run away. I didn't even realize that was happening. I feel like, I feel like that was a bit much. It's a bit of an overreaction because nothing happened to you. <laughs> uh, your shed's just a little dirty. It's not been dirty for very long. Anyway, fine. He's going to have to take care of that. And he actually also invited over his brother, Mikhail, and uh, both of their parents are now passed away due to the war. So um, I think probably his brother is coming over to get some support. He will be leaving for the war soon as the new Duke. So that is a big deal for him. And uh, yeah, he's probably just looking for some family support and maybe he'll get it. <laughs> Here is the birthday cake. So there we go on that and there. Okay. And we are going to have Bellamy blow out the candles and uh, winter is here along with Cordelia to have this little tiny party. Obviously they're not going to be having these big parties while, um, while the war is going on. It's just, you know, inappropriate. So we're not going to do that. And 
here we go into create a sim I am just going to give her a quick makeover and then show it to you so let's uh, skip ahead there and she definitely is cool she's so cool I gave her like a very gothic look I figure her skin is purple so she's already got that pop of color let's go for black and white otherwise I gave her a cool tattoo and uh, some shaved side parts there and she is just like yeah I think she's really cool she's very um you know alternative and she is going to do the best-selling author aspiration so I think that that is definitely going to be something uh, creative for her to do creative outlet there so she's really excited about that and I think that she came out great and I love her so much I need to really stop falling so hard in love with my sims because it just hurts me later <laughs> but anyway it's fine everything's fine <laughs> so we are here with the boys and Mikhail is talking to Miguel and basically what's happening here is Mikhail has to go off to war so it is expected of him to quickly get married and get his wife pregnant because then there will be an heir no matter what. The problem is that he's gay and you know ordinarily that wouldn't be a problem. We've had many gay sims in this this legacy but because he has to go off to war they don't have time to like wait around and adopt or figure something out they're like no you just gotta do your business and get going because you know you could die out there and then this duchy has no one to run it and Miguel is kind of not very sympathetic to the hard situation that Mikhail is in with this whole thing because um you know their sister is already you know in marriage talks with other families and uh, Miguel is here in the royal family and so Mikhail really needs to have a kid like otherwise their family line is going to die out like I mean the direct line will die out so it is definitely a big deal and you know Mikhail was just kind of looking for some support and his brother is not helpful I think that Miguel kind of fancies himself uh, a little self-important because he's going to become the king one day and um, because of that I think he's like I'm doing what's best for the kingdom and instead of thinking you know my brother is is in a tight spot here and he's having a hard time and he just wants to be with someone that he loves he doesn't you know so it's a hard situation anyway um, we are going to have the first book that Bellamy writes be about uh, Giorgio and being abandoned by his mother so We'll see what kind of fun book ideas we can come up with for her. And we are just continuing with the grilled cheese. Now, Olivia is now going to talk to Cordelia about stuff, too, because uh, they need to figure out who's going to go. And Olivia is basically going to say, even in front of Winter, she's going to say, you know, Cordelia, you need to leave next. And Cordelia is like, Olivia, you need to go. You are the one who started this problem. You are the one who needs to finish it. You could save so many of our people by going yourself and handling this situation and Instead, you're hiding behind everyone else and letting our kingdom suffer. And Olivia is just kind of like, yeah, um, I don't care. <laughs> she's like, I don't care. And she's they're sitting right in front of Winter. She's like, do you want Winter to have to go instead of you? And Cordelia is like, of course not. So Cordelia agrees to go. She's not happy about it. And Olivia knows that like if she set foot on the battlefield, it would end poorly for her. But she is not willing to self-sacrifice for the kingdom. So that is definitely a problem for everyone. So... Here we are, and we are now going to skip school today. Winter and uh, Miguel are going to skip school, and they're going to come to the fairground and just try to have some fun, ha have a good life, you know, life, have a good life, have a good time. Um, I think that it's hard for them because they are in the middle of all of this. Both of Miguel's parents have passed. Now his brother is going off to war, and Winter's family is dealing with all this drama that we've been describing. And so I think that... It's definitely something that, you know, they need to get away for a little bit, work on their relationship. It is an arranged marriage, but I still do think they're quite compatible and they do like each other. So there's that. And yeah, they're both just having a hard time. So they're trying to enjoy some time right now. They're going to go in the Ferris wheel. They're going to eat all sorts of junk like, you know, boba and ice cream and just all this fun stuff. So they're going to do all that and then go on all the rides and just kind of have a good day and really try to forget about a lot of the bad stuff that has been happening lately. So I don't know why he keeps like occasionally making these like rude comments to her. Um, probably. Well, I think he's mean, isn't he? Is he? He was going through a mean phase anyway. So 
we're just going to say that he uh, doesn't handle things well. I think that, uh, you know, probably the honeymoon phase is starting to come to an end because, you know, they just kind of were very fast at the beginning. And we're going to continue to, okay, she left for football, but you need to come back because I'm trying to do something here. <laughs> so they're going to come here and um, continue to spend the rest of the day into the evening together and just really, you know, try and figure this out. So they're just having a good time getting away from it all. I think Winter is concerned that she's going to have to go off to war soon. Um, she's worried about her family members who are gone, just kind of all of that stuff. So they are actually going to go on woohoo on the cuddle carts. Have fun there. And then, yeah, I think that that's all the rides and everything. So let's send them over here. It's a beautiful night. The weather is great. The view is excellent. Uh, so let's see. And he is going to get down on one knee and propose. He's going to propose to her. So she is saying yes. And, you know, he's just kind of saying, whatever happens, we'll figure it out together. You and me, we're going to, you know, make sure this kingdom is all right. King, queen, whatever. So. That is what's going on there, and we're going to end in the main household on a happy note, but we are going to head over to the Griffin household now and see Mikhail. So he is um, here in his household, and actually he's been having a little, t you know, chit-chat with Samuel here from the Kitsune household, and he is going to invite Samuel to come stay with them, him and his sister Gloria, and we're going to just fix some of their relationship because I haven't been playing them. So they are here and let's just say they've been talking for a while, but you know, have been kind of afraid to take the next step. But I think Mikhail's like, I'm going off to war and I am not leaving without doing what I want to do. So he starts getting flirty and they start, you know, talking and um, they're both really into each other. They both had a crush on each other for a while. And uh, Mikhail basically says, you know, I don't care what anyone else expects of me. I'm putting my life on the line and I am going to live the life that I want to live. And I want you to be a part of that. And Samuel absolutely agrees with him. And, you know, he um, becomes in a relationship with him. And then uh, they're going to woohoo. And then they are going to actually elope right here, right now, because he's like, you know what, let's get married and nobody can tell us that we have to do anything else. So, that is definitely something going on there. And they find, you know, they kiss, they elope, and they are together. And Mikhail's like, even though I have to leave for war tomorrow, like, I'm glad that we got to be together, that I got to marry you. So that is what's going on in this family. And that's where we're going to wrap up in this part. In the next part, we will be in our third uh, section, a uh, part of the war. And we will be sending in Mikhail and then Cordelia. So they will be the new contenders. And I hope that you guys enjoyed and are excited to see what happens in the next part because I am too. And I will catch you in the next one.